Does anyone, are you guys, are you guys hip from the 80s? You guys remember Morrissey? And where's Morrissey? I want Morrissey. Why can't I get Morrissey on the show? I want Morrissey. Tuesdays with Morrissey. Morrissey has always held a special place in my heart. Morrissey. 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 His music conjures feelings of loneliness you can only feel hosting a show at 12.30 on CBS. This Thursday, Morrissey will be on our program. <laughs> searching the globe for our next guest, the legendary singer-songwriter, both on his own and with his former band, The Smiths. This is Morrissey. Yeah, I've made up your mind. The more you ignore me, the closer I get. You're wasting your Thank you. Very nice to meet you. You smoked me out. Yeah, I found you. <laughs> How'd you hear about us wanting you? Uh, first, I heard the, the gossip that you were mentioning me, and then, yeah. uh, then I switched on and I saw this picture, and I thought, oh God. Yeah. And well, people, you didn't like that old picture. Or what? People said, if he wants you, he gets you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of Dido. I've always liked you, and I said it's about time we had Morrissey on, and we. Yeah. Uh, you know, Think it, is it your lyrics or your voice? What is it? Uh, neither. 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 It's just the way I look. No, it's. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's the jaw. No, really, it's both. It's both. Yeah. I think people like the way I sing. Yeah. Really. It sounds great. Um, well, I would say. I would say what your 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 voice is uh, is lovely, and your lyrics are sometimes disturbing. Well. Or sad. Well, you know, life is disturbing. Is it? Yeah. See, my life is just a charming, you know. No, we don't believe that. No. There's no. No, we don't believe that. There's. I never get depressed. I just oh. sit around and. No, we definitely don't believe that. <laughs> are, are, would, how would you describe yourself? Are you? Um, I think I'm a very. I think I'm a very positive person. Mm -hmm. I think I'm definitely. Yeah. Somebody laughed. Yeah. I'm, uh, and I'm. I'm also. Would you believe? I'm actually very happy. You're a happy guy. Good. Where, where do the lyrics come from? Um, well, I'm also very sincere mm -hmm. and very realistic. So um, I write about life the way it really is. I like the lyric in Suede Head. I'm so very sickened. I'm so sickened now. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, uh, it's just it's just a general comment. I think I think, <laughs> we, I think we all feel that way. Most of the time. <laughs> where did that? No, where did that lyric come from? Is there a story behind that? Not really. It's just a general observation of life and the arts, and you know, it's very, very difficult to see quality. And so you, you're watching other musicians, and I, then you I get sick. <laughs> you're watching other people. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, uh, well, obvious, me. well, obviously, we all know that music television is dreadful. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and we also know that um, all executives in the music industry in America should be. Yeah! And, uh, and we know that things like uh, American Idols. God. Dear, what? Bad. You don't like that. I think it's really shocking. I think it's really destroying music. Uh huh. Yeah. Because 
If I can say why. Yeah. What happens is the record companies, they shift away from real artists and they just get these young teenagers who won't ask for money, who won't ask for a contract. Yeah. They're just happy to do anything and assume that they're idols because they're on the television. Sure. So this is what the record companies do. So now. you, of course, you haven't sold out like a lot of these people, but you've made good money over the years, haven't you? Well, um, it's been a long time, yeah. It's been a long time. And I have a really strong audience. Yeah. <laughs> They have, they have really strong vocal cords. Yeah. <laughs> so, where do you, you live in, you split your time between London and Los Angeles? Uh, uh, between Los Angeles and Ireland. Ireland? Yes. Isn't, isn't L.A. too sunny for Morrissey? No, 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 no. I mean, I just live about five streets away from here, so this is quite interesting because you, you were searching for me. Yeah, I wasn't personally. And I was I, just around the corner. I knew, I, I, someone told me where your house is because it's a yeah. famous house, and I, I said, yeah. I'm not going to knock. I have people that will contact him, but you have no record label, so it was difficult. That's right. Uh, but it, where, where's your home? Don't give me the address, but the, uh, isn't it a famous, uh, who lived yes, there? Yes, it was built by Clark Gable. Uh-huh. His specifications, not by him. Right. Is is? Do you like the old history of Hollywood? Yes, yes. It, he built it for his wife. Mm -hmm. And people like, um, well, lots of famous people have lived there. Yeah. So, so it's got a nice vibe in there. It has a beautiful Spanishy vibe. Yeah. Beautiful so what do you do in your house? You sit around. Walk me through a typical Saturday with Morrissey. Well, that's you get all up, I do. I just sit around. You get up in the morning. You go no. down to Crunch to the gym. You go to the gym. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm saying you do a lot of curls, Morrissey. Well, huh? Yes, you've noticed. You've yeah. Noticed. No, I, I, I just stay in bed all day and I watch television and uh, you know that's all I. What do you do. like to watch on the telly? Nothing. You don't. No. Are you one I'm of these guys surfer. that just flicks channels? I'm a, I'm a prime surfer. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> And uh, I hate the commercials. Yeah. And I think there's too many commercials. It's and all about making money, isn't it? All. Yeah. It, yes. Because um, surely they don't need to have that many. Surely um, companies have made enough money on commercials in yeah. the past. Do they have to keep them? greedy? They're all greedy, man. Can they not stop for a while? What think? I would like them to do is just put out good. You know, how you keep putting out good songs. It's always a nice song. Just right. You're not greedy. Yeah, you've been doing this for how many years? Since the mid '80s, early '80s? Since the late '40s. Since the late '40s. <laughs> and and you've never done an American talk show as far as sitting down and chatting. Well, no. we're just chatting right now, we Morrissey. Are? It, yeah. It, are the cameras switched on? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very natural. We should go out, and I, I know where you hang. We should go have a beer sometime. Well. Do you I'm, like the beer? I, I'm available. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a new, a new album out or new no. songs? No, I'm touring at the moment. I'm in the middle of a tour and it's going incredibly well. Tell them what... Uh, this, uh, tomorrow you're at the Arrowhead Pond, yes. Saturday Berkeley at the Greek Theater, then Sunday San Diego State University. Uh, is the song you're singing tonight, is that relatively new? Uh, yes, it's very, very new. Yes, yeah. it's very, very Which, new. What's that called? It's called The First of the Gang to Die. Yeah, yeah. I heard it in rehearsal. Yeah. And then, uh... Tomorrow you're going to sing, uh, I guess, a classic. Well, I think so. Every day is like Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Come Armageddon, come Ar Armageddon now. Yeah, well, yeah. Something like that. Nearly. Yeah. <laughs> I listen. I, I listen to different people. I listen to a lot of jazz now, so I don't listen oh, to you enough of the. Stop that. You yeah. don't like the jazz? It's going nowhere. No. Uh, so when we come back, ladies and gentlemen, Morrissey. Will sing.